Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero season 2 part 2 episode number 3. Alright, so in the previous episode, um, Subaru did it, uh, he got uh, that kiss and um i'm guessing like uh like like that was the i have to say like subaru liked emilia from like the beginning and finally seeing that uh, i'm happy for him but there is a big but here like i hope this run goes okay because if by any chance he messes up and has to like redo it again i don't know man like that will be a bit um I don't know, like I I would be a little bit like uh, disappointed if something like that happens because obviously like this is something that you only need to do once and that is the like uh, final that must be the final thing like he confessed Emilia like confessed back and like the kiss and everything and I think it should be kept that way like if he somehow dies and has to like redo it I think the like I don't know I, I don't know what to feel about that again like it will be kind of like the whole thing will be kind of ruined for me and so i really hope subaru does not mess this up and somehow goes to like a checkpoint uh where like even after he dies he like like reverse back to that checkpoint not like to the beginning so i really hope that because this is something that should only be done done once and that should be the final like he should not have to like redo this over and over again so yeah, that's the only thing that I really hope that happens. So, anyways, and uh, in the end, like we got, like they got to meet with Garfield again, and let's see what, uh, like what happens now. So, yeah, without further ado, um, let's get started with Three Zero Season Two Part Two Episode Number Three. All right, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, what is this? The past? Wait, who is this? This is Ryuzu, isn't it? Oh, wait, he doesn't have that. Oh my god, that's how he got it. Oh no. Okay. Damn. Um, I hope he's fine. Yeah, what happened? I hope not. Yeah. Like he doesn't want like it's from the previous episode as far as we could like understand. Oh boy, what will you do now, Subaru? What? Oh. Um, I don't think you should say stuff like that to him in this condition. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, guys, please calm down. Uh, okay. Yeah, like he can, she can change that now. Like she can do it. I hope so. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. She was unable to stop her, I'm guessing. Okay. I think he is hitting each and every nail on the head. Okay. Yeah, like talk, just talk about your problems. What's the problem? Uh What? Oh, wait. Oh, no. So is that the reason why he doesn't want to go out? Like, okay, I'm kind of getting it now. Yeah, he sh she should have like, it would have been better if she lived here. Like that's his like logic now. Okay. And now he doesn't know who to hate. Okay, I'm kind of getting it, what his actual problem is. Okay, oh my god. Like he wants to preserve the status quo. Oh boy. Okay, but... This is a problem, like there is no one who is as strong as Garfield in this, in the sanctuary. So each and every time he... Oh, Emilia is here, okay, okay. Okay, Emilia is pretty strong. I kind of forgot about that whole thing. <laughs> Wait, what can Subaru do? What the? Oh, okay, Shamak.
Wait, what happened there? Wait. Wait, what is that? What the? Wait, what's happening? Wait, he nullified his power? What? What is that? What is that? Oh, wait, this is. Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Buck is inside there? Okay, I'm confused a little bit. Yeah. Things have to change. Like, yeah, that's not possible. Yeah. Subaru is pretty strong in physical like strength. You can't beat him like that. Like his dad trained him. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Damn, that's a good line. Yeah, this also like is the same for Amelia and for yourself as well. Okay, come on, Subaru. You have the strength, I know. Wait. Wait, what is happening? What the? Wait, what? What is that? Huh? Oh, Betelgeuse's power! The unseen ha- Oh my god! Oh, she, he has the slot factor! Okay, okay! Oh my god! Damn! Finally, Super has a power! Okay, thank god! <laughs> yeah, um... Okay, just beat him with your hand. Like, you're pretty strong yourself, Subaru. Uh, oh boy, he is... Oh! Who is that? Patrasha! <laughs> oh. Revenge! She got her revenge! Yeah! <laughs> she got her revenge! <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Oh my god, this episode. <laughs> well, not for you. Yeah, yeah, like you needed that beating. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Okay, so let's see what's happening inside him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that? Unperceived him. Oh my god, Subaru! <laughs> Invisible Providence, okay. That's some Chuni name naming system, Chuni type. <clears throat> oh, Patrasche. Oh, Otto is here as well. Okay, so they're fine. <laughs> yeah, like he stalled for time. <laughs> okay, everything is going okay now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, where is it? What? Is he sulking or something? Oh, <laughs> Ram. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's all this. Oh boy. Well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Perfect. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, is she telling him to go? <laughs> okay, so all right, he's going in, and maybe something r like related to his mom you'll face in the trial, I'm guessing. Uh, 
Oh yeah, yep. That's the It's going back. Wow, it's an amazing scene. Oh, the the time when he left, uh, she left. I think he must be misunderstanding something about her mom, uh, his mom. Like he thinks that his mom left to like find her own happiness, but I doubt that. Let's see. What? Wait, why is she leaving? Like... One for Frederick and one for... Oh god. She left because of that. I knew he was misunderstanding something. Well, <coughs> wait. Oh, Yeah. 
yeah like i kind of thought that maybe he was misunderstanding something <laughs> yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's enough for now, at least. Yeah, Emily also has to like, then yeah. Like, Super did one, Garth did one, and... Oh boy. <laughs> the way he's talking. Okay. <laughs> Wait, oh yeah. Yeah, as Yeah, he he must be younger, obviously. <laughs> Eighth grader. Well, he doesn't look like a eighth grader, that's for sure, but still. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, in you go. <sighs> I think it, everything will be fine now, like, like Emily also kind of, <laughs> like Emily also kind of got uh, closure somehow and she'll get more of it after she faces the trial, so I hope everything's okay, like <laughs> Wait, he said cars like that is something from his own world <laughs> wait we still didn't have the opening what the hell i want to hear the opening What? Oh. Oh my god, no. I mean, that thing with... Wait, he's talking about... <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, he's talking about the thing with Emilia. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. Uh, unusually, this is a happy ending for a Reezero episode. Okay. Um, hope it remains like this. Wow. Wow. 
Good job, Subaru. He was doing that. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. She's also has to stand up for his her past. Oh, wait. She's meeting a kid or not? <coughs> oh, she already met her, yeah. Oh, the Subaru pose. She's doing the Subaru pose. No one can lift a queen stone alone. Wow, this was an amazing episode. Well, I feel like I'm saying this each and every episode, but yeah, that's ReZero. Damn, this show really, like, I have to say, like, Rizzo became extremely like I never expected it to like develop so much like I have to say like this is one of the best shows I've ever seen <coughs> Excuse me Just a sec Okay, one thing I kind of missed in the end when like Emily was talking with Sat uh, with uh, Ekidona what she says um My name is simply Emilia. I'm the frozen witch born in Elior Forest. Okay, frozen witch. And then she says, I won't give in to a malice of a fellow witch. Alright, so one thing. Is she re just like saying like, just for the sake of it, she's saying that she is the frozen witch or is it really something like that? Like, like Emily is not a witch, so I think she is just saying it for the sake of it because obviously Ekidona uh, like referred to her as the witch. So I think she is like just uh, like using that and kind of in a sarcastic way saying that I'm the frozen witch. I think that's the thing because obviously like Emily is not a witch because uh, the like the, the all of the witches we've already seen. So we've also seen Satella as well. So. Yeah, I think uh, like in the end like that was like I think a sarcastic remark from Emilia like it does not mean anything like r real like she's not a witch But she's just like sarcastically saying that because Ekitona referred to him as uh, her as a witch. So, okay <coughs> All right, so Okay, let's talk about this episode a lot of good things happened this episode and finally the whole thing with Garfield is at an end and I really hope this is the final run that he, uh, like Subaru is doing like he doesn't mess up or like nothing messed up happens now uh, at least until he gets into like uh, gets to a like safe point unless and until like after that if something happens it is not okay but still like it's better than like losing all progress now because uh, a lot of things he had done in this run like he, like he did the whole thing with like challenging uh, Roosevelt, uh, the whole Otto situation, uh, Garfield situation, Emilia situation, and also Emilia is now has this like uh, self confidence she gained. So everything's going perfectly. Like this is uh, ten out of ten. Like uh, <coughs> like ten out of ten uh, thing that he is doing. Like this run. So I hope that he reaches a safe point perfectly. Uh, so yeah, and because obviously this is ReZero, he, like like he has to die like after like in the future as well. Like otherwise, like like this like this ReZero we are talking about. I'm sure he'll die again, but before that, I hope he reaches a safe point. Uh, so he doesn't have to like repeat this thing again. <clears throat> because all good things 
uh, must only be done once in my opinion like this is like a perfect thing that he is doing a perfect run that he's going through so i hope he gets a safe like safe point uh soon and okay so one thing i have to say like um obviously like we did not know anything about garfield and her his mom but like to the things that he was saying we kind of thought that uh, like like as garfield said that my mom left to like search for her own happiness stuff like that uh like <clears throat> i had to like uh like as like we did not see uh, his mom before so we couldn't like judge her so after he gets to his past and after i see like uh, his, his mom like uh, carrying garfield and like frederica was uh, also uh, beside her i kind of thought that maybe garfield is mistaking something because the way like she was uh, like uh, patting garfield's head and like uh, like uh, really like uh, cuddling him like I doubt she like left for her own happiness. That's the first thing that I thought, and it's kind of like it. It turned out to be correct because, uh, like she went outside to look for, like, the father, like Garfield's father, or her like husband. So, <clears throat> obviously, this is also not because of her. Like she, I, I think she did it so that like the children could like <clears throat> have a father figure as well. So for their happiness and also a little bit of her own happiness as well, she decided to go out, and also so like he she promised to come back, <coughs> but somehow like a Garfield I think Garfield misunderstood that thing because of one thing. Uh, the reason was I think that he himself was not ready to like uh like accept it. Like he himself knew that his mom like mom like loved him, uh, him and Frederica. But because like she, like she, like she like she was not coming back again, she died. Uh, Garfield like that sadness is like to like escape from that sadness. He kind of like made this scenario in his head that my mom must have left to like uh, go and look for her own happiness so that he can protect himself from the sadness. And <clears throat> uh, like yeah, and later on he kind of understood that himself. Like uh, Frederica also says this uh, later on that uh, you did that so that you can like forget it, like, you can save yourself from the pain, and uh, like you do like like hate someone. You just needed someone to hate, and uh, like uh, do something at least. So for that he like made this kind of scenario up on his mind in, inside his mind, or maybe he was too like small to understand what was happening, so he kind of mistook the whole situation. But anyhow, like because of that, he like, mistook the whole situation, and like kind of like was in a weird position. Like he himself didn't have anyone to hate. Like the mom he could have hated was not going to come back again. Also, also just one thing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, when in the like past when like garfield was like seeing relieving his past okay let's see okay mother uh, like as frederick is saying uh, mother loved both you and me dearly garf <coughs> she left the sanctuary for her family's sake okay are you not content with that like hell she did if she loved us <coughs> then why it probably made things easier believing that she didn't love us. If you believed that your love was one-sided, you could justify the pain it caused you. Yeah, okay. No, you're wrong. You don't know anything. When mom leaves here, she's gonna... Of course I know that. <clears throat> There's no way I wouldn't. If mother did meet misfortune upon leaving here, Do you think grandmother would not inform us? Okay, what is this thing that she's saying? Like, like I don't get it. Like, she says that. Just a sec. <clears throat> okay, she said that if mother did meet misfortune up, up, upon leaving here, which means the, the misfortune she's talking about is the death.
do you think grandmother would not inform us so obviously Ryuzu said nothing about this so what is she trying to say like is she trying to say that their mom is okay like the way she's saying that like, it kind of like points towards that direction or am I mistaking something like she's saying that if mom did really did like uh, fall into some kind of misfortune do you think grandmother would not inform us like she's saying that uh, the grandmother must have informed us if he like if she like went like had some kind of misfortune but she did not that means so is their mom fine then Garfi says then why you must know why you were not told that such oh okay oh okay 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 no 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 uh at a young age okay so okay i, I kind of get it now all right so she's saying that uh because of the young age uh <clears throat> Ryuzu did not say anything about that to him and obviously Garfield is still young now as well like he he's an eighth grader so <clears throat> because Gav, you are an you are no longer a young child. Yeah, now he is grown up. So now he's like getting to know that, I think. In truth, you remembered that mother loved you, didn't you? Yeah, this is what I was saying, that he himself knew, but he kind of made this whole scenario inside his head. <clears throat> you have that scar on your forehead because you wanted to forget her kiss. Yeah, so that it does not cause him more pain. You wanted to make it disappear and you gave it to his, yourself. All right, so yeah, okay, so okay, I kind of like misunderstood it in the middle a little bit. I thought maybe uh, their mom was fine, but no, uh, that was not the case. Uh, like uh, Ryuzu did not inform him because uh, like uh, he was a child. So okay, so that was the reason. Like kind of like made me like confused a little bit, but okay, I kind of understand now what was happening. All right, so okay, so the mom really is uh, not alive anymore. That means. And like he himself, because of that fact that uh, their mom died, because of that pain, because to like f forget that pain, uh, as Frederica said, she he needed someone, <clears throat> like uh, to uh, like like she needed someone to hate, and uh, <clears throat> he kind of did it in a weird way, like he like just to forget uh, the pain of loss. He made this whole scenario in his mind and kind of like uh, believed that their mom left them for their own happiness but at the same time she him, she herself got into this like misfortune and so she he also like made up this whole scenario of that if I let anyone out of this sanctuary uh, or like Ryuzu or anyone they will die and uh, like so that so I won't let anyone get out of this place and he was so angry when Federica left as well so <clears throat> Like this was all in his head, kind of a scenario that he made up, just so that he could save himself from the pain of uh, uh, his mother's loss. All right, and his, like his, the thing that his mother wanted to, I think, was uh, like as also Frederica, as they said, that her mom wanted to like go outside to find their dad, and <clears throat> like uh, for like them as well, and also for her, like for their happiness and um also like Frederica left for this kind of the same reason she left so that she can prepare like a place where they can come back like uh, like where they can return like prepare a home where they can return where Garfield and all of the people can return so and then like uh <clears throat> it's also said that like Garfield was kind of like uh, did not understand that properly and yeah, he kind of got a closure here, and that was a good episode. And I like, I have to say, like, <laughs> like convincing Garfield was pretty um, difficult, but yeah, I I think it's all worth it. Like, uh, they have an ally now, a good ally, and um, Garfield can like. I think Garfield was most probably the most big obstacle that was like. Uh, stopping them from like leaving the sanctuary because Roosevelt is kind of um, not neutral but kind of neutral at the same time like he is just sitting around like and like uh, like like 
pulling the strings from like behind but he himself is not like stopping them from going out so he is just there he's not uh, like uh, like obstacle he's not an obstacle so the, the only main obstacle was Garfield here and now that he had like Subaru has convinced him as well uh, like Subaru passed the trial Garfield passed the trial and like I'm guessing Emily will also be able to pass the trial as well three trials will be passed and I'm guessing Sanctuary will be liberated and they would be able to go out and then uh, like like do the whole like uh, like deal with the whole mansion situation which I really want them to like uh, do it perfectly as well because Beatrice is there and Rem is there as well like everyone is there Petra, Federica so <clears throat> yeah like so okay it's good like he is like tackling one thing after the other like first he like Subaru is like uh, cleared the whole sanctuary situation which would probably uh, be cleared uh, it's a matter of time and now he will probably like after clearing the whole sanctuary situation he will go back to the mansion and deal with that situation as well so yeah and by doing that uh, he would probably win the bet with Roseval as well and Roseval will also like uh, have to like join hands with Subaru as well wow that's a good plan yeah and everything is going fine now but obviously this is ReZero and I really hope nothing bad happens uh, but who knows oh and also another thing I was really uh, like really surprising is the scribbles that Subaru did like that was really um, I have to say like that was really good like he left Emily at that time so that he can like scribble these things like of like encouragement uh, in the uh, like in the sanctuary so when like Emilia feels like if Emilia somehow feels sad going inside or feels like her like um, spirit is getting broken after seeing those uh, like scribblings and the doodles like like she will get back to her feet and damn that okay that is a good enough reason for uh, him not uh, like upholding his promise and that's uh, I think and I think this will help her even a, a lot more like to keep her spirits up <clears throat> And oh, a lot of things happened this episode. I have to talk about a lot of things. Also, um, the whole uh, oh, two more things. Number one, uh, is Puck inside that lo like uh, amulet? Like that was Puck's voice, isn't it? Just a sec. Let me just check. Like yeah, he stabs the amulet in Garfield's hand. Garfield kind of like reverts back. And. Like Subaru says that uh, like you ate all of that didn't you and that was uh, like the his sister's amulet Frederica's amulet all right okay maybe there's a really hungry cat hanging out inside it then Puck says that uh, that's the all the assist I can give you that was Puck's voice okay so like he says that that's all that's it that I can give you so is this a one-time thing or maybe is Puck really inside that or somehow I don't know like that's a question and I uh, one thing I was really surprised about was why did Emilia not react to that did Emilia not listen like hear Puck's voice like the way uh, like Emilia is so like sad about Puck going away I was uh, like I was like I was uh, expecting the Emilia to just jump out and like uh, I don't know like go there and like talk try to talk with Puck but like, she did nothing did she not hear Puck talking like that's a thing that really confused me and I kind of thought that maybe that is not Pug because Emilia is not reacting but like listening to it now again that is Pug's voice I don't know I, that, that was kind of weird I, the only explanation I can think is uh, maybe like Emilia did not hear Pug's voice maybe because she is not contracted to him is that why I don't know <laughs> like that was weird but okay that and also the other thing uh, that I have to talk about is uh, the unseen hand uh, there is a slot factor because of it and <clears throat> like I was not expecting that at all like uh, so okay it's kind of an ability for Subaru like Subaru is kind of powerless in like uh, these kind of situations always but uh, like it's good to see that he at least has one power like not one but two power like Shamaki already had it and this unseen hand uh, like what did he name it like some kind of some hand of providence or something I can't remember the uh, like Chuni type name that he gave it <laughs> oh my god um 
I think it was anyways something providence he called it uh, like I hope that he is able to like master that I don't know how would he would be able to do it but um, okay and and he says something about Echidona like inside him okay yeah that nasty witch was probably behind it the sloth witch factor that she talked about so originally this is I think kind of like Echidona's power but because like um, <clears throat> like um, sloth no uh, not Echidona's power wait a minute sloth this is this a segment's power no yeah I think this is segment's power doesn't isn't it like um, Yeah, like uh, Betelgeuse was uh, the Archbishop of Sloth. So, like the Sloth factor is within Subaru. That means this is somehow like connected to Sekhmet. I'm guessing. I don't know. It's, a few things are a little bit confusing for me now, but I'm, I'm guessing it will get cleared out eventually. So, like anyhow, uh, Subaru can kind of squeeze this power out in like life or death situations, I'm guessing now and this will kind of um, help him uh, for small stuff like this like just now what what he did so yeah that's good like at least he like got some power and this will probably be helpful later on and yeah okay that's it I've talked enough it's, it's a long time I'm talking and um, all right so this was a really good episode uh, I think that I'm saying this, uh, I would probably say this in the next episode as well because each and every episode uh, is extremely amazing, I can, I, I, like I have to say. And um, character development, each and everything, I'm really happy like Subaru is getting so much development. And like, uh, like looking at him now uh, and the way he started at the beginning, it's the, like heaven and hell difference. And like I have to say, like if you have to like do some kind of character development, some for some character in an anime, this is the correct way it should, it should be done. And I'm really happy that he is like he is becoming one of the best characters of the series. And I'm sure that he will like grow more from here as well. So yeah, like I still remember a lot of people kind of whining about Subaru and stuff and. Uh, like I, I always had this thing like I always thought that whenever like someone kind of complained about Subaru I like I wanted to say that uh, Subaru is just a kid Like he is a kid in like the real world who suddenly finds himself in this weird type of isekai planet and where he continuously dies like uh, in my opinion he is one of the stronger people because after dying so much he still has this willpower to keep going and keep like saving each and every one i doubt any one of the uh, like any one of the characters in this like anime would have been able to like uh, keep that willpower after dying so much i doubt it so i like in that way i think he is one of the strongest uh, so like when like people kind of complained about him like being him being whiny him being stupid I kind of thought that like this is just normal this is like kind of realistic as to like what would a guy really do like uh, he is just a normal student like in a, a lot of isekais we kind of see like uh, the main protagonist kind of becoming strong so quickly and like killing monsters killing stuff that is not realistic like a person who is living in his house in the modern gen like 21st century with a mobile phone in his hand won't be able to like go in the uh, like in an isekai world and start killing monsters and like uh, stuff using magic just like that so easily like that's not realistic at all obviously the whole thing isekai thing is not realistic but still like the like character of Subaru is a lot realistic in that way because he like at the end of the day he is just a normal like modern kid of like our world he is not someone who is like uh, accustomed to see like uh, in seeing these kind of things so like what the hell do you expect even from him but uh, like seeing him now I have to say like the way he is improving the way he is developing uh, I have to say it's one of the best I've ever seen and like like has of Razor is one of the best animes that I, I have uh, at least ever seen like this is one of the like becoming one of the best like uh, animes and like I don't like give out like best 
like the title best just like that like there are a few animals that i think is the best and rizu is definitely becoming one of it so yeah so anyways okay guys uh, i'll stop now um so uh yeah guys that's it thank you guys for watching this was rizu um season two part two episode number three this was re a really good episode i really enjoyed it so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to like discuss about uh, this episode or anything in general. I'll be sure to check them out. And so yeah, guys, um, I'll be back with another V Zero episode next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.